enchanted us on stage, on the silver screen, and in song, delivering performances that are sometimes bold, often outrageous, and always divine. Well, this whole acting thing's been going pretty good, right? With three Emmy Awards, four Golden Globes, three Grammys, two Tony Awards, and more than 30 million records sold worldwide, Bette Midler is the embodiment of a true star. I give people a good time, and I think people really like to have a good time. Bette had a flair for the dramatic at a young age, starring in the first theater production at her high school, before the lights of Broadway called and she left home to begin her career. She worked non-stop to explore and refine her craft. As Bette's performing career continued to grow, her versatility came clearly into focus on the big screen with a string of hit comedies for Disney. Bette's star ascended even higher with the 1988 release of Beaches, a story of friendship and growth that she produced, starred in, and sang her platinum-selling and Grammy-winning rendition of Wind Beneath My Wings. But perhaps her most memorable role would be that of Richie Winfred Sanderson in the 1993 instant classic, Hocus Pocus. This star turn showcased her vocal prowess and comic ability perfectly, capturing what she considers her favorite film performance. Now the witch is back! The planet is so full of magic, and you must find it. Bette Midler. For 50 years, she has continued to bewitch and entertain audiences throughout a career filled with Hollywood premieres and Broadway standing ovations, all of them touched in no small part with her own divine magic. I actually were neighbors. We lived in the same building in New York. And I would see her on the elevator when she was going out to walk her dog. And I was always praying she would break out in song. <laughs> now, if she never did. <laughs> if you have ever heard Beth sing in concert in the movies or on an elevator, you know what it means to be truly awed. She's an icon, an extraordinary talent, and a force of nature. And there is literally nothing she can't do except unfortunately control the weather. Bette actually spent hours at an airport yesterday, stuck in a storm, hoping the weather would eventually cooperate because she was determined to be here. But unfortunately, the storm raged on and she ultimately had to admit defeat, which if you know Bette, is something she hates to do. In typical Bette fashion, she made sure the show would go on by asking her daughter to accept the Disney Legends Award on her behalf. So please welcome Bette Miller's daughter, Sophie von Hasselberg. Sophie. that she couldn't be here, and so am I, because I did not know that I was going to be doing this until 11 p.m. last night, so please bear with me, but she sent a very lovely speech, which I will be reading for her. Here we go. I spent 10 of the happiest years of my life on Dopey Drive, both as an actor and as a producer. The pictures I was privileged to make brought so much joy into the world. We made people laugh and we made people cry, sometimes at the same time. There is nothing more satisfying, and there's nothing more necessary, especially these days. But I didn't do it alone. I would have if I could have, of course, and occasionally I did try, and I have the photos of the corpses to prove it. <laughs> but none of the pictures I made were silent, and none of them were monologues. The artists I met and worked with were brilliant, taking me by the hand, often kicking and screaming, and gently helping me breathe life into the characters we were creating and the stories we were telling. Without them, the writers, directors, camera crews, lighting and sound crews, art directors, costumers, choreographers, makeup and hair departments, not to mention the other actors, nothing whatever would have happened. They were so inspiring. Artists, one and all, 
many of them unforgettable. I remain in their debt. They gave me and my family a great gift, the gift of wonderful lives and our own table at Mousseau and Frank's. <laughs> in all my performing life, and that's 50 years now, I have never called myself an artist. I never thought of what I do as art. I thought it was just entertaining. But in joining this class of artists today, after all these years, I feel that I have finally earned the right to call myself an artist. So thank you for this, and thank you for that. I'm very grateful.